If you plan to buy a used car online, be careful. The Better Business Bureau received more reports of online car buying scams last year. In many cases, the listings look legitimate. So the BBB says that scammers often use fake websites that are modeled to look like actual sites. The phony listings may include pictures that look real, contact information, even a VIN number. In most cases, the pictures and information, though, are stolen from actual listings, legitimate ones. So from 2021 through last year, the BBB saw nearly 700 reports of fraudulent sales, with car buyers losing an average of $12,500. Now, there are some ways that you can protect yourself. So first, Always ask to see the car in person before you pay for it. If the seller refuses, that is a huge red flag. Don't buy it, find a different vehicle. Always opt to pick the car up yourself also instead of choosing to have it delivered to you. You'll end up waiting a really long time if you get scammed. Also, take your time. You know, if a seller is pressuring you to act quickly, it is probably a scam. And only look up VIN numbers using trustworthy services such as Carfax. Now, something else, the Better Business Bureau also found that many of the scams targeted classic car buyers offering vintage vehicles at unusually low prices. So if you think you've been scammed or you spot a scheme, be sure to contact the Better Business Bureau. All you have to do is go to bbb.org slash scam tracker to report it so no one else falls for it. The FBI is reporting a spike in scams targeting senior citizens. Last year, people 60 and older lost more than $3.5 billion to scams. That's 11% more than in 2022. Top scams targeting older Americans involve fake tech support. Those include internet pop-ups that claim you've got a virus. Imposter scams are also a big concern. Those often involve a scam caller posing as a government official. The agency's head of financial crimes is encouraging people to report losses earlier. That increases your chance of recovering lost money. You can report fraud to FBI.gov.